All righty. It is almost the end of June. Wanted to really get some info out there about the market update. Um, number one, again, it's almost the end of June. And I talked to several people in the new home construction industry just yesterday, five of them actually. And overwhelmingly, it was the same report. June has really been slow as far as walk-ins go, as far as buyers writing offers, as far as overall activity. One of the slowest Junes, they said, in years. Why is that, right? Like everyone is like, what is going on in the market? You know, listings, some of them are, are, are flying off the market with multiple offers. Some of them are not selling at all, despite marketing, despite the condition of the home, despite the pricing of the home. The home is just still failing to sell, right? Why? And when you look at like overwhelmingly, so if you don't follow the real estate market and you don't follow us, because I bring you these market updates like regularly, then maybe you don't know, but Texas and Florida were like leading the nation during COVID and right after COVID in the hottest markets in the nation. Uh, why? Number one, affordability. Number two, uh, Florida, of course, for the uh, snowbirders or whatever they're called, the people that leave the north and go there. Um, scenic, right? Texas, of course, Austin was like a hot market for a super long time. Houston and Dallas have always been. So it's kind of been the Houston market was came in after Austin and Dallas. Well, as the market continued to change, starting in June of 22, now, here we are in end of June 24, Texas and Florida are leading the nation in inventory, stacking of inventory. Homes, why are we stacking in inventory? Homes are failing to sell. Homes are taking longer to sell. New construction has continued to build uh, because there was such a demand for it when COVID was going strong, right? Well, that demand is not there as strong anymore and hasn't been for over a year now, a year and a half, really. So we've got this inventory, stacking, building, stacking, building. What else is causing that, y'all? Okay, not only are interest rates higher than we've seen in years. Well, when COVID came along, housing appreciation went higher in the state of Texas than we've ever seen. So when you look at historical graphs of housing appreciation, if you tuned in to my last market update, I shared that with you. So go back and find that. I shared the graph of what we've seen in the last 30 years in real estate as far as housing appreciation goes. Okay, so home values went up during COVID. So in addition to homes costing more, Property taxes, of course, went up because now homes are valued at higher, right? Then you've got homeowners insurance. Okay, in the state of Texas, Florida, and California, homeowners insurance homeowners insurance premiums are at again an all time high. Stuff we've not seen before ever. So when you look at a home buyer who is going to go out and, and buy a four hundred thousand dollar home, because about three hundred and forty is like the median price point right now, or average. A home price, but most homes are like 400000 Go buy one of those and you look at what your taxes are going to be and your homeowner's insurance and your payment now with a 7% interest rate. Maybe that's not doable. Maybe I'm going to go rent an apartment. Maybe I'm going to go rent a house because it's a lot cheaper, right? Okay. Get it for sure. We've watched this now happen over and over and over again, and it's become kind of the norm. And then of course, inflation, throw inflation in the whole mix of it. And Groceries cost more, electricity costs more, gas costs more, all of it, like going to eat costs more, at coffee, everything, more, more, more. But wages aren't increasing, right? So when you look at like people that say, I don't want to be house poor, that's a real thing because yes, when you buy a home, your monthly payment is a fixed payment, except for taxes and insurance. Those are the only things we can't control. And naturally, they go up every year. Rarely do you hear someone say, oh, my taxes went down. Oh, my insurance rate went down. That's rare, right? I say all this to say there's hope, you guys. Interest rates, if you're paying attention to them, 
are coming down. It's little, little bits right now, okay? Historically, in an election year, which is what we are in right now, the market usually comes to a halt in October because the, the election's in November, right? Comes to a halt in October because people are like, I'm not making a move till I see what goes on. And they get obsessed with the market naturally, but it actually starts slowing down before October. Well, is it going to this year? We don't know because nothing's been normal for like the last two years, right? In an election year, historically, the sales prices have rose the following year, the year after the election. Sales volume activity has also increased the year after the election. We, we know that's coming, right? We in the real estate world, why? We do know, I don't have a crystal ball and I'm not a financial advisor, but I can tell you that interest rates are coming down. I can tell you that everyone that I talk to in my world believes the same thing. I can tell you that if you look at the data and you look at the reports and you look at um, unemployment rates, real unemployment rates and inflation rates and the economy and everything under the sun, they're coming down. Will it happen in July? I don't know. A lot of people that I talk to, um, September keeps getting thrown out, of course. I'm like, it's not going to happen in September. Why would they wait until September knowing the market's going to slow down in October? Now, granted, um, you know, you can think whatever you want, but anyone in the White House wants to make it look like they're doing a great job, right? So we've got the economy sucks right now. People aren't spending any money. People aren't going out to eat anymore. People aren't going on vacations anymore because they don't have any extra money. Credit card debt's at an all-time high. Savings are depleted. People aren't buying homes anymore. Sellers aren't selling homes anymore. This is a problem, right? Well, if I'm running, like, if I have control over things, I'm going to get those rates down and, and get the economy going back again and get people feeling really good and good energy. And look at me, look at me, I'm selling homes. Look at me, I'm buying a home. Look at me, I'm going on vacation. Look, we're going out to eat, like all kinds of stuff, right? Makes happy people. I will tell you that if you're a home buyer, rates right now, 6.9, 7.2, and you're going to hear all these buy down rates and buy down rates. And sure, you can buy down that rate and it may cost you $10,000. Depends on the price of the home. Sure, you can do that. Or you can just get out there right now while the rates are what they are and go negotiate on a house because I just told you homes are sitting. So sellers are negotiating like crazy right now because we do believe and we know interest rates organically are coming down without you having to buy that rate down. Now. There's ways to structure it with different kinds of buy downs. And you can talk to your local lender about that. I will let you know that the lenders that we work with, I can tell you that they will refinance for free, like for real, for free, if you go in with them now and at a higher interest rate, whatever that is, 7%. When rates do come down, they'll refinance for free up to 18 months, y'all. That's like unheard of. So the opportunity that you have right now as a home buyer, that window is going to close because I'll tell you when I talked to and I was with five different new home people yesterday, they all said the same thing. Well, we've been told that we've kept prices kind of at a standstill and they have like everyone's prices have been like the same. But when interest rates dip, because they are, we're going up at least $20,000, which home values are already high. So tack on another 20 grand to that. Would you rather pay 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars more for a home in um, 90 days? Or would you rather get out today and get a home probably for 10 or 20 thousand dollars less than what it says on that list price? And maybe get some money for your closing costs and get incentives. I don't know. You you do the math. What makes more sense to you? So stop focusing on the rates because, again, we don't have a crystal ball, but I'm telling you the rates are coming down. I live in the optimist world. I'm not going to focus on the negative. I'm going to focus on what I know is true, hope. 
and that this is all coming, y'all, all good things are coming. So home sellers, if that is you watching this right now in any world, I'll tell you this. Here's another thing because I'm obsessed with the housing market. I study it like crazy. Well, I started this video and I told you guys that Florida and Texas during COVID were like leading the nation in hot spots. And now I've told you now it's flipped and Florida and Texas started leading the nation in home sitting and inventory building. Weirdly, what's ranking um, one of the hottest spots in the nation is Providence, little bitty town of Providence, Rhode Island. Crazy, right? But what is another interesting fact, interesting, I think anyway, Denver, Colorado, which has been a hot market for years, I mean years, now has home sitting on the market. Hmm. Phoenix, Arizona has been another like insanely hot market, home sitting on the market now. So now it's not just Texas and Florida. Now we have six other states that are in that little melting pot of homes sitting on the market, inventory building. Austin, Austin, you guys, if you're looking at Texas data, you can't look at Austin's data and compare it to Houston or Dallas. You just can't. It is not in the same market. Austin also was not in the same market when home values were going up because home values in Austin went up like crazy. And those poor people paid a lot for some of those homes. A lot of people did. Well, guess what? Their market's like upside down right now. So the data uh, in Austin shows that the inventory of homes on the market, available homes, active homes on the market in Austin is the largest inventory they've seen in 15 years. I don't know. I tell you all of this because I want you to understand the real estate market. It is cyclical. The last two years, actually the last three years have been weird, wild, and unpredictable. Maybe that's the way it's going to be for the duration of the world. I don't know. But what I do know is that hope is coming. Lower interest rates are coming. So get out there now if you're a home buyer and get in a home, get in a new construction home. It'd be crazy if you didn't do that. They're making deals. You can get in a new construction home right now, go into a, a development where they're still building. And so they've got new construction going on. You can go pick your lot. You can go pick your floor plan. You can get lots of incentives because they have a lot of inventory. Don't think that they don't because they do. And you don't have to lock your interest rate until their home's almost completed. So by then, rates are going to be great. And if you bought it down, you could probably buy it into the fours. Hmm. Y'all got to think, stop being reactive and be intentional with how you handle your money, your investments, decisions, real estate. So if you are a real estate agent and you're watching this and no one teaches you, trains you, educates you, guides you on any of this stuff, that's unfortunate. You can always come and join us. We are with Real Brokerage, fastest growing publicly traded real estate company. And um, may amazing culture, of course. Uh, I am a broker. We are in the Houston area. We have our own training facility. We train anybody with real. You don't have to be on our team, though we do have a team. And we do provide leads and all kinds of stuff for our agents. They are fed everything under the sun. We have 90,000 leads that they're sorting through right now. And more went coming in every single day. If you're a home buyer and you don't have a real estate agent and you don't have a clue how to maneuver through this market and no one's guiding you and giving you ideas like I just told you right now, definitely uh, reach out to us. You can go to TrishaTurnerGroup.com. If you're a home seller and you want to get your home sold and have it actually looking great so you get top dollar when this market shifts because it happens overnight, y'all. We have our own staging company too, Honeybee Home Staging and more. So we stage our listings, no cost to you, the seller, no extra cost, I should say. It's just because we want our listings to look good. And we want your home to sell for more money. So we all make more money, right? So definitely reach out to us, TrishaTurnerGroup.com. If you want to schedule a call and discuss any of this stuff, I'm always up to talking about the market because I'm obsessed with it. Grant Cardone says, be obsessed or be average, right? Obsessed, always. You can schedule a call at calltrishaturner.com. Have an amazing day. Remember, there's hope and there's brighter days ahead. Bye, y'all.